Major causes of a submacular hemorrhage are neovascular age-related macular degeneration, polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy, and retinal macroaneurysms. These hemorrhages are broadly divided into small, medium, and large-sized clinically. Natural sequelae, when left untreated, includes macular scar and subretinal fibrosis. Various management options are there, which includes intravitreal anti-VEGFs, pneumatic displacement with positioning, and vitrectomy with subretinal TPA, or combination of these. We would like to share our technique of evacuating the submacular hemorrhage with a smiley incision in the macular area. In this case, a thorough vitrectomy with PVT induction is carried out and after that, diathermy is done on the proposed incision site. Cutter is used to make the incision. Note that the cut rate is reduced to 100 cuts per minute to give a scissor-like control. High vacuum is then used to engage the submacular complex, which is gradually evacuated. The extracted content is eaten up with the cutter. Heavy liquid PFCL is injected to stabilize the posterior pole. Mild endolaser is done to the edges of the incision. This is followed by fluid air exchange. Post-operative color photo and OCT shows a relative restoration of foveal contour. Another case in which vitrectomy is carried out, a similar smiley shaped incision is planned using a diathermy followed by the use of cutter. Submacular complex is then gently aspirated. CL is injected to stabilize the posterior pole. Endo laser is carried out. This is followed by fluid air exchange. In this case, the smiley incision is planned inferiorly due to eccentric location of the hemorrhage. Subretinal complex is then engaged and extracted with the cutter. PFCL is injected, following which the complex is cleared. Endolaser is done under PFCL, followed by fluid air exchange and gas tamponade. In a nutshell, smiley incision helps in removal of bulk of subretinal complex with good rehabilitation.